President Trump's emergency declaration to use unappropriated funds for his border wall is facing its first legal hurdle. Lawyers for 20 states and organizations like the ACLU are asking a federal judge in California to block the wall's construction as thousands of migrants continue to cross the border illegally. William Lajeunesse is live in Tecate, California. William. Well, John, the cornerstone of the wall is money. You take that out and the plan crumbles. That's important because this fence is scheduled to be replaced. Now, that is Tecate, Mexico. The city has grown a great deal. Apprehensions here are up 163%. But people can jump this fence. It's 30 years old, only 6 feet tall. They disappear into this area. Last night, they made an apprehension of a convicted child molester right down there. So the Border Patrol has asked for a new 18-foot fence to replace it, but the ACLU, Sierra Club, 19 states are trying to stop it in, for today in federal court. The lawsuit argues that the president's emergency declaration is illegal because it bypasses the normal appropriations process after Congress explicitly rejected his demand for more wall money. So if Judge Haywood Gilliam, an Obama appointee, agrees to cut that off, the president's access to $6 billion in Pentagon money, a lifeline to the next 256 miles of fence, could be cut off. Either side will appeal, but an injunction could stop the construction, something the president predicted could happen. I'll sign the final papers as soon as I get into the Oval Office, and we will have a national emergency. And we will then be sued, and they will sue us in the Ninth Circuit, uh, even though it shouldn't be there. And we will possibly get a bad ruling, and then we'll get another bad ruling, and then we'll end up in the Supreme Court, and hopefully we'll get a fair shake, and we'll win in the Supreme Court. So to avoid future funding fights, yesterday the president proposed a permanent fund to pay for border security improvements, not paid by Mexico, but fees assessed to imports and exports. Also, he wants cars and everyone going through the ports of entry to be screened for drugs and contraband. As for the current crisis with asylum seekers, he say that too many are making frivolous claims, and he wants them to apply south of the border and stay there until their case is adjudicated. John, that hearing begins in less than two hours in Oakland. Also, I wanted to say that the border patrol has begun sending migrants out of Texas now to Florida for processing because things are so overwhelmed in Texas. Back to you. The tremendous numbers. William Lajeunesse there in California. Thank you.